Greetings, fellow Simmer, and welcome to the Reaction Review with me, Gripper Sim. Oh, I suspected this for a long time. You know it. Third-party developers have been very busy little bees. Busy little bees indeed. Busily working in the background, developing products for us to purchase in Flight Simulator 2020 on its release for August 18th. One of the developers, Orbex, have popped their head above the parapet and announced they have eight sceneries ready for release day or shortly thereafter. For those of you who are new to this intelligent hobby of flight simulation, Orbex are one of the developers who make highly detailed real life models of sceneries and airports. Now, I know we already get all the airports of the world in flight simulator by default, but Orbex have always brought a new level of detail to the standard. I'm going to save the best to last, so let's start with America and the first of the eight airports that Orbex have, and that's Santa Barbara Municipal Airport, Kilo Sierra Bravo Alpha. Orbex say that during the launch window, new products will be available for purchase at competitive pricing levels, ranging from eight US dollars to 20 US dollars through both Orbex Direct, that's their little store, and the Microsoft Flight Sim Marketplace in the FS Flight Simulator itself. They also say that they're happy to confirm that current owners of Orbex products products, either running FSX, P3D, X-Plane or Aerofly FS2 that are launched for Microsoft Flight Simulator will receive a 40% discount. So happy days. If you already have an Orbex product, you'll get 40% discount for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Santa Barbara Airport is served by five airliners on a regular basis, including CRJs, 737s and A320s, among others. The main runway is 6,000 feet long with a GA runway of 4,200 feet and it caters for pretty much any type of flying. Those of you who have been to Santa Barbara Barbara or live in Santa Barbara and know the airport well and let us know what you think in the comments. Next, Hollywood Burbank Airport, Kilo Bravo Uniform Romeo. Being one of the primary airports of Los Angeles, you can experience this bustling destination in stunning high definition detail. From iconic architecture of the terminal building to the smallest details, no effort has been spared to recreate this famous airport. Now, I've used Orbex on uh, X-Plane 11, uh, which is not great for frames uh, per second usually. Um, and I'm wondering how it will work on Flight Simulator. Now, these airports, in my experience with Flight Simulators, the smaller ones don't seem to have much of an effect. But seeing as how Microsoft is going to run so well, I don't know if it's going to be a massive issue with frames per second. But I have to say to you, the details of the, uh, these airports are incredible. Let's have a look at the next American airport, and that's Tacoma Narrows Airport, Kilo Tango India Whiskey. The 500 foot runway is a perfect length for GA aircraft as well as private jets catering for air taxiing services. With uh, Seattle Tacoma International Airport only 18 miles away, expect to keep busy in the skies around Tacoma Narrows Airport as you monitor the frequency to keep clear of international traffic. Uh, yeah, so it's actually around Washington area and Microsoft have really spent a lot of detail around the Washington area. Washington on the west coast where California is, by the way. I do like the way they've included the bridge here and Orbex are known for that. They don't just build the airport itself. They usually put in a few landmarks close to the airport, which is great. Uh, and, and having said that, I think small airports in general aviation, like small planes, would be very popular in Microsoft Flight Simulator, purely because of the lovely, incredible and fantastic scenery. You'll miss that at 30,000 feet. Next up, Orcas Island Airport, Kilo Oscar Romeo Sierra, which is also in Washington. It's in the northwest corner of Washington, and they say it's a completely new scenery to Orbex that harnesses the latest technology of the new simulator platform. Well, I think all the previous sceneries did the same, no? Anyway, they say Orcas is the perfect home for all VO4 flyers. I think there'll be lots of us online lads flying around Washington because it looks... It looks like they've spent a lot of time anyway with the scenery in Washington because you can see Bill, Bill Gates' house, I believe, and your own house and stuff. So there'll be packs of us in there flying around like lunatics. Now I'm zooming in here a little bit. Do you know, it's just the level of detail. And they're nice high-res photos as well. Next up, let's go over to England. And that's Leeds Bradford Airport. Leeds Bradford, situated in Yorkshire. Yorkshire. I can't do the Yorkshire accent. Um, I know it's shocking. I won't do it again, but it looks really detailed. I'm doing a few zoom shots in here uh, and zooming out, but it looks very good. And you can see the slope and the runway. That looks really impressive to me. The slopes in these runways are great. And no matter how much I zoom in, you know, without distorting it, the detail looks absolutely fantastic. Look at the trucks. They look really, really good. Uh, and even the ground, the asphalt, everything. It's just, I can't wait actually to go to Leeds. Uh, the UK is absolutely packed of airports right next to each other everywhere. It's probably 
the busiest country I've ever been to whilst flying overhead or in and around the UK. So Breeze Batford is one of those airports where I, I will definitely have, certainly at some point. I'll do a review on it maybe. I don't know um, if I probably do a showcase maybe. We'll see. But yeah, another one. Leeds Bradford. It's going to get better. It's going to get really better. Here's a night shot. But uh, it's going to get better. I think we'll have a look at next. Hmm, let me see. Oh, Innsbruck. Innsbruck Airport. If you ask a real life pilot what's his favourite airport, I guarantee you on the top three is going to be Innsbruck purely because it's in a very deep valley. Anyway, Orbex go on to say a true multi-purpose field in the heart of the European Alps. Experience jaw-dropping backdrops, picturesque mountain villages and heart-stopping approaches. Try your hands at the infamous circling approach. Test your flying skills with the bad weather winter departure or just explore the hidden valleys and detailed cityscape of this stunning location. And it is a stunning location. They say it's a major overhaul of this world-famous destination for flight simulation. 2020 every element has been carefully handcrafted and with beautiful detail this is one of those airports that i love making cinematic youtube videos for because it just looks stunningly fantastic and not only that i guarantee you see the train station on the lower left hand side there they've modeled that you'll see trains coming in and out and also look to the upper left hand side of the screen you'll see a purple a purple uh, ski slope so they've modeled that I'm pretty sure. This next picture is just fantastic. You can see by the ground that there has been a rain shower and in the, the background there you can see the shower itself. You've never seen that in a flight simulator before. I won't bore you to tears by saying how fantastic it looks because you just go, what you just, you just, you know. Oh, uh, um, England, England next. Let's have a look at London City Airport. It's situated right in the centre of London, right on the Thames, and it's reserved only for the incredibly rich. The incredibly rich don't like flying next to middle class professionals. Uh, so if I'm, I'm zooming in here a bit because on all these sceneries it appears that it looks 3D in those windows to me. And I'm wondering, will they have people walking around with their baggage and stuff? I don't know, but it looks 3D to me. I think it will be. Uh, this, uh, this is a, a golden air image. Very highly detailed. This could be a couple of years ago. If you sent me this, I'd say, well, it's a picture at first. You know, here's a nice night scene. Look, the lighting looks fantastic. Uh, you will love London City in Flight Simulator because you get to see London and the, it's going to be very highly detailed. And it's a short runway. You well, you know, I'll do stuff like trying to lower land a 737 on it. You know, that'll be fun. But yeah, London City is one of those uh, airports that, again, everybody likes to have. And look at the detail of this picture. Wow. Isn't it pretty that, you know, I wish they had the rest of the city. And guess what they do? They have uh, under their landmarks, they have London City Pack. So they have the whole city. And I tell you guys, look at that. That is incredible. London, I used to think London was dull and boring when I was very, very young. Uh, you can thank EastEnders for that. And things like the Sweeney where it's always raining and dull and dark and everyone's miserable. It's not like that at all. I don't think it was ever like that. But the city looked drab. Now look at it. It's like something out of a, a sci-fi movie. And, and, you know, I spent a lot of time in London since and, you know, I miss it. And, I, you know, I'd be back. And if you're in America thinking of going on holidays, uh, you're mad not to go to London. You're mad not to go to London. You're off your tits. It's cool. And it's right next door to me. I could pop over if I wanted next weekend. I could just fly from Dublin to, to London City Airport uh, for real. And then maybe before do the sim, I'd see the difference there won't be much difference oh this picture is stunning so yeah london is is uh flying around london i've done it i, I trained in essex uh and i'd fly around london they don't like you flying overhead london for obvious reasons but close enough and i can tell you that with this scenery with microsoft flight simulator it'll be like having hanging out of the, the side of a real aircraft with a camera um, that's how bizarrely realistic this whole Flight Simulator 2020 business is, and especially with Orbex. I mean, you, you could have shown this to anybody. Show that to your mum and tell her, is that a picture? she go, yeah. she you know, or anybody really that isn't a flight simmer will we'll know. We'll think that that's a picture. Look at this, the escape of London. So, yeah, um, it's just going to be great. Uh, there are some bugs I've seen in some of the other videos with regards to London. They're not terribly p bad bugs, but... This brings it to a whole new level. That's the Thames barrier. That's to stop them from flooding. Um, and it's just, um, I don't know. Right, that's uh, that's the London Eye. And uh, I've got to get the train now. So I've got to head off. I don't usually post on Mondays, but there you go. I saw this and I had to, I had to do it. 
So I'm off uh, on the train up to the city. Oh, no, I have to go on the train. I hate going on the train because it's all... It's all full of damn middle class professionals with sitting there going to work with their with their theories and their formulas for uh, engineering. Oh, common scum. Ugh.